Welcome back. My name is Allison if you're new here and today we are going to Shibuya to experience Halloween Which is Japan's craziest event maybe of all year We're gonna see everyone cosplays and drinks though technically drinking is prohibited this year, but we'll see so Power! All right, let's go to Shibuya. I made this an hour ago <laughs> So don't judge the oh my god. Don't judge it. Don't judge it. Okay, let's go <laughs> Oh, it's it wiggly. It's wiggly. Alright, so I just got back. So obviously I went to Shibuya this Halloween. Uh, so me and my friend went and we rented an Airbnb. So we stayed out till a little after last train. It was crazy. I went before in 2016 when I studied abroad. 
in college and I remember it was crazy and I remember I never wanted to go back. <laughs> And today I, or yesterday I re-remembered that. Why, why the reasons? It was just, wow, people everywhere. So let me back up really quick. So Halloween has never really been a traditionally like a big thing in Japan. Like just 15 years ago, you, there was like, I don't think that much at all ever. But every year it's been growing kind of steadily. And I think it's a lot more popular now than it was even in 2016. Like it's very common to do something to celebrate it now, you know, in Tokyo for 20 something, 30 somethings. And even for kids, cause uh, today, you know, we went out to Daikonyama and we were walking around and there were all these kids um, getting candy. So like Japan doesn't do trick or treating like how they do in America. I don't think Japan ever will do that. But what they do instead, or not everywhere, just actually this very small number of areas. Like I know Daikanyama and I think Azabu Juban did it, but both of these areas are pretty like wealthy, foreigner heavy-ish areas. But so the stores actually will hand out the candy to the kids and they have like a bunch of, um, like they have a route, you know, already decided and there were like volunteer guides and everything. It was cute, it was cute. Totally different <laughs> from, you know, what I grew up doing, but that's fine. The way this like culture kind of like, what's the word? Disseminates and like evolves differently in different countries. It's so interesting, you know? So yeah. I hope there's more of that in the future because that's cute. Uh, but Shibu is not cute. Shibu is crazy. Uh, so <laughs> Shibu has always been a thing for a few years now. Not a few years, like years now. Uh, but, um, you know, 2020 was basically canceled. And last year it was a lot smaller, I think, than it was this year. And even this year, it wasn't back to its, you know, full grandiose nature quite yet. But I was just thinking like, oh, if this isn't the real She'd be a Halloween. Oh my God, I can't even remember what 2016 was or what it was in 2019 probably. I bet next year is gonna be just, wow. Yeah, there are a lot of people and there were a lot of areas. And when I woke up this morning, I saw the news about uh, Korea. I'm not making this into a sad video. We're not gonna talk that much about it. And I don't know that much about it, but a lot of people were asking me if it was like a similar situation and it was, in some areas, like there were a few streets where it was really crowded, like you were being pushed along with the crowd and if you tried to stop or something, you'd, I don't know, it wouldn't work. But there weren't that many of these areas and really there were a ton of police out, like not like doing anything like bad or just, they're just there to direct basically. There were literally hundreds of police officers in this pretty small area for hundreds of police officers and all they're doing really is directing traffic and telling people to move. And yeah, it was annoying when they, kept telling us to move when we're just standing on a side street where there's not really a crowd. But yeah, looking back on it, I mean, I don't know, I can't really be mad or anything because they're just trying to keep us safe. And I guess they did, so good. Uh, yeah, I would not bring children there. I saw some like toddlers there and kids. Oh my God, horrible place for them. Yeah, a lot of drunk people, a lot of, um, if you wear like a sexy outfit, there are a lot of, um, what's the word? Like questionable older men and young men who are trying to, you know, find a woman to, you know, that's just the kind of night it is. Not into that. Just going for the vibes, for the fun experience atmosphere. So yeah, I had fun. It was a nice night out. I don't usually do this kind of thing because I am a creature of my home. I love being here. I don't like going out, especially at night. I don't go to clubs. I like, play Kitchen Impact and uh, watch YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's Shibuya. Uh, thank you to my friend who lent me her power outfit. I just made the horns really quick uh, before going out out of like construction paper. So they weren't the best, but it was fine. So yeah, I'm really sleepy. So I'm gonna end the video here. What a crazy night for me. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments what Halloween is like where you're from and if it's changed at all over the years. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos about my life here in Japan in the future. Like the video and I'll see you guys back here again next week as always. Bye. Yeah.